Now, I'm sure I can speak for all of us when I say how extremely proud we are to live and work in 1066 country with its unique heritage. We're fortunate that there are those amongst us who not only share the passion, but work tirelessly to both preserve and capture the legacy for both ourselves and the many thousands of visitors. Our hero opened the first ever Hamel Fresco exhibition in Hastings in August last year, depicting people who have had a significant impact on the town. This involved a tremendous amount of research and study determined to show and teach the people of Hastings and visitors to the town it's not all about fish and chips and seagulls. He tied together a selection of very different topics to reflect the harmony of our beautiful Hastings. Thomas Brassey, Elizabeth Blackwell, John Logie Baird, and the original look of Hastings Castle with some of the topics. Each painting had a full fact sheet and there was audio about the lost heroes of this town, which, as he discovered, was quite often a learning experience for locals as well. Being both visible and visual, the artworks were very different to traditional paintings. In fact, it was the first ever panel fresco exhibition in Hastings, which actually attracted the attention of the Meridian TV news. With excellent feedback from the exhibition, our hero voluntarily set up a community-based art group for the victims of redundancy in Hastings, producing artwork from recycled materials, and set up what is thought to be the first ever international recycled art competition in the country. Our hero has donated many of his own paintings to Hastings Town Hall, Hastings Heritage Centre, and Brightling Village. He's raised some money for the Hastings Shipwreck Centre. Kevin Borman described our hero as a great ambassador for our town, a view so justly shared with our panel. The winner of the Arrow FM Make a Community Difference Award goes to Tura Sat. Thank you very much again.